All right, Stu, I mean, we already have the smoking gun. I think we're about to put the body, the blood, the splatters on the wall, and the chalk outline out. And it seems like mainstream media is like, what murder? Is what that, are you talking is that about? enough? Is that really <laughs> enough? We Sure, we have the whole thing on video, but really, is that enough? That is, I will say there has been at least a couple uh, at mainstream sources that have actually pursued this. I mean, CBS News did a piece on it yesterday. Surprisingly, the you know, Corinne Jean Pierre oh, went through only, a five if minute. If only anyone watched CBS <laughs> News, <laughs> that's true. That would be really good. Uh, Corinne Jean Pierre had a really, I would say, tough press conference where, I mean, for five straight minutes, White House reporters came after her asking questions about this. And of course, she just bumbled her way through it because she's terrible at her job. But it was interesting to see, even see her have to go through that exercise. So I don't know. I mean, we've talked about this before. Every once in a while, one of these things breaks through. And a lot of times it has to do with people doing something super selfish. It's not ideological. And this, you know, this this seems to be Joe Biden selfishly using the power of his office in a corrupt way to protect his son. And maybe, I don't know, maybe that breaks through. Maybe the the average mainstream reporter looks at this and says, this is going to be a problem later on. We should get him out of here now while Gavin Newsom still has a chance to step in or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here it is. House Republicans yesterday released more WhatsApp messages. Uh, They say they were written by Hunter Biden as he worked on a business deal with a Chinese energy company. In messages from August 2017, the first son pushed that $10 million was needed and it needed to be invested annually into the uh, joint venture with CEFC China Energy. He called uh, a $5 million proposal new to me and not acceptable. $5 million just isn't enough for all the things that Hunter Biden could bring to the table, like drugs. The House Oversight Committee, uh, the Twitter account, said that Hunter was messaging uh, Guang Wendong, uh, a CEFC China Energy associate who used the nickname Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part of the story. I don't right know there. if I've ever told you. I called uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. He was in uh, the United States, and I had to call his uh, hotel room and, and use a code name. And when I saw the code name, I thought it was ridiculous. And uh, so I called the hotel, and I said... John Smith, please. And uh, it rang through and hello. And I said, uh, Prime Minister, how are you? And he said, I'm doing fine. And I said, uh, John Smith, really? I, I was hoping for something a little more clever. And he said, in my country, it is very clever. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm sure it wasn't so actually Kevin, John Smith, of course, but yes. Uh, no, uh, uh, it, it was actually John Smith. That was his code name at that time. They don't use the same code name, Stu. Okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't give away. Okay. I'm the one sitting on the Iranian papers. Anyway, <laughs> um, the House Oversight Committee's Twitter account said that he used the messaging with Kevin. Uh, and <laughs> Hunter had said, I'm tired of this, Kevin. I can make $5 million in salary from any law firm in America. Hmm. <laughs> If you think it's about money, it's not. Okay, listen to this. If you think it's about money, it's not. The Bidens are the best at doing exactly what the chairman wants from this partnership. Let's not quibble over peanuts. Uh, which Bidens? Oh, I forgot. He's got, He's got his sister-in-law, his ex-sister-in-law, she brings a lot to the table, too. Uh, And then the brother, who we all know is an expert in... um... Well, anyway, all those Bidens are the best at bringing the chairman what he wants, and it has nothing to do with Joe Biden. This is horrific. Horrific. We all now know this this is true that Biden is selling his country out for cash. And if, if Hunter is right and it's not about cash, 
What is it? That even sounds worse. What is it? Treason? I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time uh, getting my arms around it, but Hunter is going to be deposed tomorrow, and we will give you more on that uh, deposition and the questions that need to be asked uh, coming up probably on tomorrow's program. I've been thinking about... Go ahead, Stu. I was going to say, do you think that's why we're getting these WhatsApp messages? Like, if the Republicans had these this whole time, I, I'm a bit perplexed on the timeline here. We're hearing about this after this deal has been cut. Are they just trying to say, hey, don't let this deal go through because we have so much more that, you know, you don't know about yet? Is that the, is that the goal here? Why are we hearing about these things now? Because I don't think these have anything to do with uh, the deal. He can make whatever deal, but he didn't make a deal on this, I don't think. I mean, the way I mean, it was that covered, cover this. The, pre the way the press wrote about this was this was designed, this deal was designed to knock out all the criminal questions on Hunter Biden. Like, this is it. This is what they came up with. They looked at everything, and this is what they came up with, and mm. it should clear him from all the other stuff. Now, I don't know if legally you doesn't can— Doesn't clear his dad. Doesn't clear his dad. Doesn't clear his, his uncle either, who was a huge part mm -hmm. of this particularly. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I don't—like, I just—I I hope that—I mean, I really hope they go in there tomorrow and the judge is like, no, I'm not taking this. I'm not taking this deal. Go back to the drawing board because it, it, this cl clearly there's more going on here than him not paying his taxes a couple times. This is not a minor thing. And we're talking about influence uh, at the highest levels of our government. And if that if that is just ignored, uh, we, uh, you know, it's going to in in incentivize people to do more of it. And we still don't know what, what happened here. We don't know if there was policies that were implemented when he became president later on. We don't know what was. We don't know what influence this stuff bought. But I doubt. It, I doubt it was without a price. You don't spend five million dollars, ten million dollars, a hundred million dollars on something and get nothing back for it. So yesterday, on a related note, uh, Hunter Biden settled with his baby mama, and baby mama wanted the Biden name. Uh, for one, and she also wanted uh, more cash. Um, I got stuck as I was reading this. I, I, I really got stuck on the, the Biden name. She felt that that carried weight in society. Not anything good. <laughs> Would you want to strap your child with the name Biden? I wouldn't. Mm. I grew up in an alcoholic family. Both my parents were all screwed up. My mom uh, had a good childhood. My dad had a horrible childhood. Um, he was abused by his father. Um, he ran away from home at 16. He ran to Los Angeles, stayed at the YMCA where he had been repeatedly raped. He only told me this at the end, towards the end of his life. He never told anybody um, in the family ever. None of us knew. Um, and and did everything he could. He was kind of a distant dad because um, he didn't want to be his father. And I understood so much more about my childhood with him just not being around uh, much more after he talked to me about that. But now I can at times be a distant dad because I'm working all the time and it's something that I'm trying to conquer. And abuse has happened in my family with my sisters. And it has been my goal to stop all of the abuse in the family. So somebody's got to stand up for the women in our family. And I, and I've taught my son and my nephews, enough is enough. Stop and protect the women in our family. That's a Herculean thing to try to even take on and change in one generation. Your history really matters to you. Um, and I know one of the things that played into me when I was very young was my mother was an alcoholic and then she killed herself. I'm 14, 15 years old. And I remember in my 20s, uh, 
feeling like that was inevitable. That's just the way we do things. That's, I mean, it, it happened in my family, and it's just the way we do things. The mark that the Bidens are putting on their children and grandchildren forever, it's going to take somebody with real spine, and I don't see anyone in that family with any kind of spine, but to reverse the damage to that family is, is going to take a hero of epic proportions. And what's crazy is Hunter Biden is in the position to do it, but I don't think he'll ever humble himself enough. I mean, look, at, wouldn't you be embarrassed to be in public right now if you were one of them? Wouldn't you almost be afraid to be in public? You'd be like, I sold out my country with my dad and he's president. I would be really ashamed and worried about being in public right now. They're not. They're not. And uh, unfortunately, when it comes to families and repentance and everything else, it takes humility. And if this doesn't humble that family, what will?